moment we are staying at the Akira Tangor in Bangkok. Um, we got here this morning, but I'm not gonna lie, I was so jet lagged, so tired. We've literally just chilled by the pool all day today. Um, but now we are in the hotel's Tuk Tuk and we are going to, what is the bar called? Octave Bar. Octave Bar, which is a recommendation from one of Ben's friends. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head there now. It's literally like a five minute five minute journey from the hotel so I'm really excited and it's a rooftop bar so looking forward to it I'm just wearing a cute little Zara dress it's actually probably more suited for um, Santorini than it is Thailand but oh well we're about to get onto the super busy street so I'll flip the camera around so you can see what's going on Look at this. Wow. It is very warm this evening. What cocktail have you gone for? Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. What's in it? Hibiscus honey, whiskey and brandy. Mm. It's literally like an old fashioned. But... Mine is the most horrific colour. I did ask to remove the blue. <laughs> but they said no. <laughs> So, yeah, it's supposed to be like a lychee cocktail. It tastes very orangey, I'm not sure about it. But this view is so worth it. Look at that blue sky. Okay, the sun is setting and you can't really get the scale of this or the colour, but that colour is insane. Let me see if I can get it on the zoom. Not been there taking photos of it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, that's more what it looks like in real life. So beautiful. <laughs> Okay, this is what the sunset has turned into. It is epic. This is such a nice rooftop bar. Who recommended this? Lewis? No, I, I found it. Oh, you found, found it. it? Oh, I, I thought Lewis it. recommended it. Yeah, shout out to Marriott. Shout out to Marriott. We need to absolutely sell this place more because it's insane. No, this is pretty insane. Look at that. And I have now my lychee martini, which I'm super happy about. I much nicer, it. much I more have. sophisticated than the blue drink that I had before. Ben's gone for a um, vibrant green. Well, the words, when it's been pictures, the uh, woo-woo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, the, uh, the cheeky vintage, how's that? <laughs> so this is the Bangkok nighttime skyline. It's so flat, it's ridiculous. All you can see that is higher than anything else are the skyscrapers. This big line that you can see there, there's a road next to the, um, what do they call it? The skyline, I think? The um, Basically the railway in the sky. So they have like a lifted railway system, which is amazing. Um, the roads are always so busy, but oh, I love cities at night. Doesn't it just look stunning? Um, 
yeah, about to get on the sky train and head down to the river. Uh, Charlotte, the lovely girl I met the other day for um, Elizabeth Arden, recommended a few things to us. So I'm gonna take those recommendations and um, yeah, get some tickets now, head down there, because we're gonna do a little boat trip and go and see some of the temples. So in case you haven't noticed, we're now in the flower market. On the rake, because Katie's miles away taking photos. They are literally, oh look at this little guy here. Hello. Hello. It's really, really beautiful, but absolutely boiling hot. Ben and I haven't eaten yet today because obviously we missed breakfast this morning. It's our own fault, but yeah, we haven't eaten. We popped into Starbucks because we were like, you know that point you get to where you're like super, super tired and a bit shaky, um, but the food there was, it just did not look edible. So we skipped that. Um, we're gonna jump back on the hopper bus. We got a ticket for the hopper bus. Okay boat, <laughs> water bus, um, and yeah, so I think we're now going to go and find like a palace, um, I think the Grand Palace, and some food, because we both need to eat something. Okay, we're in 7-Eleven, you can literally get a piece of bread with butter on it, and this is for 20 baht, so that's about, how much is that, 50p or something? So funny. building behind me it's so big I can't even get it in shot it's absolutely incredible and then you've got these guys behind me 
holding up a massive gold tower um, and then just loads of people taking photos but this is absolutely stunning it was built in the 1700s by the first king once Bangkok because it said it on our boat once um, once Bangkok became the capital city because it wasn't before so when it became the capital city um, they built this the king built this in the 1700s um, basically as just a house and offices for people that wanted to work here so um, yeah really really interesting and an incredible place imagine starting up a new city and just going do you know what we need we need a massive gold palace to say that we've landed um, yeah I wouldn't mind living here me under the light so keep me in your side cause I can do this all night you can call it what you want I got something else in mind oh if it's you I've been waiting for I bet if you come around to the back of the golden temple it is so quiet we're literally the only ones here apart from literally a few people there. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I would have thought so. Now we've walked into this square and it is so quiet, there's no one here. They're literally all on the other side of the palace. I just realised why it's so dead. It's actually closed. Um, <laughs> we're walking now to the exit. This place is so stunning though. I actually would highly recommend coming quite close to close because there's no one here. You have the whole place to yourself and you can get the best photos and just enjoy it without hordes of people screaming. Um, yeah, it's so, so beautiful. Closing time is at four. So if you just make sure you come, I don't know, half an hour, an hour beforehand. We haven't seen everything, but we managed to get round quite a lot it's just so beautiful <laughs> I'll narrate as Katie is now walking off taking some photos basically you just left the main temple the old school part and this oh the breeze and we've walked out to what can only be described as my future home yeah <laughs> Even while you're leaving, this place is so beautiful. Look behind, so gorgeous. We're literally leaving like the last people to leave apart from this massive group behind us, so. Yeah, oh my God, look. Can you see? <laughs> so we are gonna jump back on the boat now, head back. Anywhere else you want to go, Ben, are you kind of done? I think we're okay, we fly tomorrow. I'm so hot, I'm so out of breath, I'm so hot. Um, we'll leave something to come back for. Yeah. We might come back on the way back, so maybe we'll get a bit more in then. Because um, yesterday was pretty much a write-off because we were so jet-lagged. But um, the Temple of the Emerald Buddha Museum, wow. I might need to go to the loo before we go. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Um, yeah, so hot, so looking forward to jumping in a shower. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Are you happy? Oh, Bye. sorry. Got my water bottle. Yeah. Okay, we came to Starbucks and oh, my sport's broken. <laughs> and the lovely lady wrote down my name in Thai. Wait, and again? There we go. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> and I'm currently half dressed. <laughs> <laughs> with my pillowcase around my ankles. So funny. I've taken off all my makeup. I've had room service, I had a delicious chicken pad thai. Um, I've just turned on the TV, so I'm gonna put something on and get some work done. Um, and I'm making myself a cup of tea as well. And before when we went to the 7-Eleven, I bought some more of the, I don't know if I've told, them, told you about them yet, the banana and chocolate chip muffins. They are the best thing. Normally I'll shout about the Peggy Portion one, but this one overtakes it. It is the best banana chocolate chip 
muffin I've ever had in my life. So tasty. So I'm going to have a cup of tea and a little cake and get some work done. It's about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Ben has gone for a massage next door. It's literally like eight quid. So he's gone for a massage, um, but I had to get some stuff done. So I skipped it tonight. Maybe I'll go tomorrow morning. Um, lots of things to do tomorrow morning. And then we fly out to Koh Samui. So yeah, lots to do. I feel a bit stressed actually. I feel like we're doing a lot um, and I wanted it to be quite a chilled holiday. So hopefully we'll have some time to like relax and unwind on the islands. Um, I'm also, I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if Ben's not taking the photos in focus or if it's my phone that's making them blurry, but basically 99.9% .9 of the photos that we've taken today are unusable and we went to the most amazing places. So a little bit gutted about that. I know that won't matter to a lot of people, but when this is your job, it's really frustrating when things don't work out. Um, Ben's photos are fine. We're, we've, we're trying this new thing where we've got like a back button focus because we were finding that a lot of our photos weren't in focus. So we're trying this now and I don't think he's quite got the hang of it but also I think my phone is showing them to be blurry. So it's on charge now. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to reset it. I'm going to, I think I've got like an iOS update as well. So hopefully after that they might be in focus i don't know fingers crossed guys i really hope so um but you'll have seen if i've posted any you'll have seen the pictures from today um alongside the footage from today if that makes sense so yeah lots done lots and lots of lovely things today i've had such a good day um i'm feeling actually okay i'm a little bit tired um, we're gonna get an early night tonight because obviously we lay in so late today We need to get loads of content for the hotel tomorrow if I haven't mentioned already We're staying at the Akira Tongo. Um, it's a lovely hotel. It's really really beautiful. Actually, I've not even done a room tour Shall I do a room tour for you guys? Let's do a room tour Um, it's a bit of a mess because we've got Ben had a beer before he went out <laughs> And there's stuff everywhere. So hopefully it's not too messy. Um, but you'll see how we live when we travel um but yeah, we're staying here. It's very kindly a complimentary stay. Um, because we do a lot of travel, we work with a lot of hotels. And I don't know if I've explained this before in a vlog. But um, yeah, a lot of the hotels that we go to, we are working with. So we are giving them content in exchange for our stay. Um, which is really, really lovely. An amazing, amazing perk of the job. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me show you the room. So... This is the dreamy bed. This bed is so unbelievably comfortable. It is beautiful. I really like the big backboard as well. Um, little bedside lights as well. And they've got a gorgeous bouquet of orchids on this side. But yeah, these sheets as well. I really, really like them. They're beautiful and soft. And actually the um, dressing gown that I've been wearing is made from the same fabric as these sheets. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, really, really, really like them. Then over here we have a little sitting area. This is where I've eaten. You can see my um, my room service there. And I think this picture here is actually of um, the road in Tongo. So um, Tongo, I hope, I really hope I'm saying that right, is a part of uh, Bangkok. It's supposed to be a little bit more upmarket. So this is the street that we're staying on. Um, it's supposed to be really, really lovely. So, and yeah, we've we've loved it so far. Then you have these gorgeous, um, it's basically like a fabric wallpaper. I love it. And the inset gold. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's solid though, but it's absolutely beautiful. And I really like this gold detailing as well. It's kind of like paneling, but with fabric. Over here, this is the messy part. <laughs> Basically, I don't know if anyone else does this, but we've taken everything out of the mini bar and put our own food from 7-Eleven and drink in there. Um, so yeah, great little mini bar here and then a little seating area. This is the huge window. Obviously, it's not open right now um, because it's dark, but absolutely gorgeous in the daytime. There's a lovely view there. And then if you come through here, hopefully I've picked up all my stuff that was on the floor. Oh, I've left my towel on the floor. Oops, sorry guys. Um, this is the bathroom. Beautiful, beautiful marble bathroom. You can see me in my... <laughs> this is my Peanut Buster & Co. Um, T-shirt that I got years and years and years ago from a food 
market in London um, and I sleep in it and it's the comfiest thing ever so if anyone else has a t-shirt like this then props to you because yeah this t-shirt is the best I have two of them and I think it's a t-shirt that I will never ever get rid of um, but yeah this is the bathroom this is the shower so beautiful I really really like the marble and again they've got the similar marble on the floor but it's um it's kind of like texturized so that you don't slip or anything and then it's a huge walk-in shower it's absolutely gorgeous I really really like this style of tile I feel like this marble is a bit more yellowy but I really like the white on the wall but yeah so that is the room tour um i hope that gives you a little bit more of an insight as we go to each hotel on our stay i'll make sure i give you a room tour for each of them okay i've got my cup of tea and my little banana chocolate chip muffin and i've got the tv on i'm working away on my laptop and jurassic park is on fox movies the original one so i've got that on in the background because i can't actually get work done without having background noise so fun fact for you um but yeah this this is such a nice chilled evening and this is what i've needed so i'm really happy Whoa! the sunrise a late night oh God, like wishing that. that this would be <laughs> over it's a Thursday in the morning ben's already been up a few hours i'm knackered um but we are going up to the pool to get a few photos Hopefully it's still super quiet. Oh my god, there's people at breakfast already. How do people get up so early? Um, but yeah, gonna get some pool shots now. So wish us luck. Look at my face. I'm wishing me luck that my face looks okay too. <laughs> okay, I think we got the shot up here. This is the rooftop. How beaut is that pool with the skyscrapers in the background? It's epic. And you got the sound of running water and then a hot tub jacuzzi right at the end. It's Beautiful. Old eyes, the same vice. We won't be getting any closer. We're supposed to be young, dumb, and free. Thought that we never be me. Hoping that you'll see what we could be. It's nine o'clock and it is breakfast time. This one is being very impatient for his breakfast. So angry. It's <laughs> starved, then I starved of course yeah um so we're gonna have some nice breakfast and then go back to the room pack do you know which one it is pack and then um and then our flight is in a bit so we've got to head to the airport quite soon don't know why i'm not in focus there we go um but i'll take you to breakfast with me now yeah i'm quite hungry now actually lacking energy so this is the cereals i love all these big glass jars so pretty morning then this is the hot breakfast Yum. and loads of fruit over here this is what i'm about to dive into yum i was just taking a photo on the bed for the gram and it is so cozy in that bed i just want to get back in but i wanted to show you guys something so yesterday when we went to the 7-eleven i bought this to try which is a collagen 1000 milligram plus high vitamin c collagen beauty jelly it sounds like it's going to be absolutely disgusting should i put you there while i try it you said the, the punishment that have already been laid out, the fines and the bans. Um, I'm not sure I about this. I do think that's something a little more radical needs to take oh. place. Um, you know, uh, Troy Townsend recently talked about who's a, who's a campaign for kick It tastes like lychee. Um, mm. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to shake it. Do you think I am? Do you want to try some? It's actually, it tastes like lychee cowpole. Okay. That's weird. It went from juice to jelly. So now I'm drinking jelly. I hope you are you are supposed to drink this, right? Being grounded worldwide. It's not a face mask or something. No, it was in the drink section. Yeah. Do you agree? Time to get on the next plane. Off we go. This is a shot right up your armpit. <laughs> Lunch. You got no more water, some melon, and some chicken. So, feel it good? It's delicious. You're refreshing to I'm you. actually really hungry, are you? A refreshing, a refreshing to have left perhaps. <laughs> 
in both of us Always thought that we would get it right We've been fighting nine to five Always thought that you'd be by my side